Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Today we're going to talk about how a resistor-based keypad works. I'm going to show you the schematic, talk about the theory. It's going to be straightforward, it's going to be simple, and uh, in the next video or videos, we're going to talk about how to connect it to a, uh, an Arduino. I've used this on my PIC microcontrollers before. I use this in my Betty Paintball Time Bomb Props, um, and I'm going to show you how it works. Now, for this, you can use one pin on your uh, microcontroller, as long as it's uh, an ADC-based pin, an analog read pin, and you can control 10 different buttons or 10 different functions within your microcontroller program using only one I.O. pin. The programming is a little bit more complicated than simply just using uh, uh, a digital input for every single button, but this saves hardware. You do need more... Uh, you do need a bunch of resistors, but resistors don't cost anything. They cost fractions of a penny. In any case, let's talk about the uh, let's talk about the schematic. This is the schematic for the keypad. As you can see, we've got eleven common uh, resistors, uh, in this case two K two in value, and they are connected to a voltage divider on the left. And we've got a one hundred K ohm pull down on the middle pin of our output three pin terminal. The top pin of the three-pin terminal is connected to VCC, which is a regulated five volts. The middle one, the, the bottom one, is connected to ground, our DC ground line. And again, we've got a 100 k ohm pull-down resistor connected to the primary side of every single button on our keypad. Now, the pull-down resistor is so that when no button is being pressed, we see zero volts on that secondary side, which is fed to the analog to digital input of your microcontroller. The second side of every button is connected to its own specific area on the voltage divider. We'll get to that a little bit in a minute. What we need for this specific circuit, 10 buttons, is we're going to need 11 resistors of the same value. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the next slide as well. But as you can see, every button has a secondary side that's connected to one of the resistors in the voltage divider, and that's going to give us a, uh, a very specific voltage that will be connected to the output when we press a button. Each button is connected to its own specific voltage on the voltage divider. And when you press that button, that specific voltage goes to the output that's connected to the 10K ohm pull down. Now, uh, you can use any, any resistor as long as the resistor is of the same value. And I say any resistor, what I really mean is between 1 and 10K ohms. You don't want it to be too high because if you have them, say, each, each uh, being 100K ohms, then what's going to happen is the input of the analog to digital converter might get confused and might not be able to read it properly because of the low current potential. You also don't want it for, for each resistor to be too low in value because there is a constant circuit here between 5 volts and ground. And while we've got uh, many K ohms in between, there's still current flowing through it, so it's uh, consuming a little bit of power. The smaller the resistor you use, the more power it's, the circuit is consuming by default. 